So why would I be flying for an extended period of time? So much so that I would need to cross feed to make it. So the, the fuel system is different in a multi-engineer plane because all multi-engineer planes, at least that I've seen, have the capacity to cross feed. So basically I can run my right engine off of the fuel in my left tank and vice versa. So this capability is, uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward on how to use it, but the question I ask is why do you have that capability, right? So why would I be flying for an extended period of time so much so that I would need to cross feed to make it? Why do I have that capability? Well, the reason actually is back when these planes were designed, there weren't instrument approaches everywhere, right? So if you were en route in instrument meteorological conditions and you lose your engine, you might be a couple of hours away from the nearest airport with an appropriate instrument approach to get you out of that IMC condition, right? So we don't have that same problem today, but we do have a problem of if you're in a light piston twin, which a light piston twin would be anything that weighs less than 6,000 pounds. But if you're in a light piston twin and you lose an engine in IMC conditions, I'm going to start flying to an airport that has probably at least circling minimums or or higher. That would be my minimums that I want to shoot an approach to because if I'm shooting an approach on a single engine and I, I get down to 200 feet on an ILS and I have to go missed, well, the single engine the single engine performance of a light twin isn't guaranteed, right? It's it's not a sure thing. In fact, most of the time it's really really bad. Sometimes in the summertime it can even be not positive a climb at all. Even with full power on the operating engine, if the left engine or, or either one of the engines are inoperative and you're at a heavier weight and it's uh, it's hotter conditions, there's a good chance you might not be able to climb, period. So now you're down here at 200 feet above the ground in IMC conditions having to try to go missed. And that's a very, you know, that could be a significant emotional event. We'll put it that way. Uh, something that I want to avoid. So what I would do is I would set up cross feed and I would fly for two or three hours to get to an airport that had really good weather where I'm guaranteed I can shoot an approach and get down without having to worry about going miss.